Well, it's Saturday morning, and I have absolutely no video to put out tomorrow morning. I try to put one out every Sunday. I don't always make it, but I try. So I thought I'd just sit here at the desk and talk about oxalic acid and a few other things. Uh, for the newer beekeepers that are watching these videos, uh, we need to understand that in much of our country right now is the time to do oxalic acid because the bees are broodless, at least in our area, in the southern Appalachians they are. Down south in Florida and many of the southern states, they don't go completely broodless, but in our area they do. And we have about a three or four week window right now. And um, it's really important to treat uh, with this vaporization program when the bees are broodless because it only works on the mites that are on the bees, the phoretic mites they call them. It does not work on the mites that are behind sealed brood. So it's important to do it right now, catch that window. We'll do it three times, several reasons for that. They, they say that uh, it works on about 90% of the mites. I kind of think I like to go back and catch 90% of the 10% I left behind and then of course uh, do it a third time just to make real sure. I would not do that with oxalic acid uh, dribble method. I kind of proved it to myself a few times. The dribble method with oxalic acid is kind of hard on the bees. You can do it once and not see much of a difference in the colony size or the cluster size, but if you do it two or three times in a short period of time, you'll really see that it's hurt the colony a little bit. That's why they recommend it only doing it once every several months or six months. And some, uh, some sites actually say only do it once a year if you're doing the dribble method. But the idea is it's, it's hard on the bees and they need to have uh, young, fresh bees hatching to kind of overcome that. So that's one of the reasons I choose to do the vaporization over the dribble. Um, it is very effective. Um, we've been doing it several years like that. We'll do something like Apigard or Apivar in August and then uh, do the oxalic acid in winter. And that really helps us get to the next August without any treatment. And we can go into spring without any mites found in uh, alcohol washes at all. We could just do zeros across the board. And then on along about May or June, you start to see a few. And by July and August, of course, they showed up in a much bigger way. So that's what we'll be doing over the next few weeks. Now, um, <clears throat> the temperature is pretty important when you're doing oxalic vaporization. It will work uh, okay at any temperature above freezing. But uh, when the clusters are tight, when the bees are clustered tight, the vapors really don't seep into the cluster as well as you would like them to. So I kind of like to shoot for between 40 or 42 degrees Fahrenheit and 48. And that way the cluster is a little bit loose, but yet the bees aren't flying yet. Now, that having been said, that window is kind of hard for us to catch day after day after day. So there will be days when it might be in the mid or upper 30s and we'll go ahead and do it. And days when it's in the low 50s and, you know, warm up to the low 50s and we'll persist through the day and continue on. And, you know, th that'll have uh, a good effect, just not the best effect, and that's another reason for doing it three times instead of just once or twice.